Hi there. Welcome to Transforming the World. My name is Pastor Greg. This week we're talking about the characteristic of diligence. Diligence. Wow. Why is diligence included in the study of Christian characteristics? I mean, let's let's be honest. I mean, diligence is the kind of topic that people usually talk about when, you know, how to be highly successful. Well, you need to be diligent. You know, you need to work hard. You need to do all these things. How does diligence work into the life of a Christian? Diligence uh, the definition of diligence, a simple definition, is uh, careful and persistent work or effort. Um, although a more expanded definition of diligence is a steady, earnest, and energetic effort that is uh, devoted. It is uh, painstaking work and uh, application to accomplish an undertaking. That's That's a really expanded definition of diligence so um, in other words in other words diligence is uh, kind of uh, you got a goal in mind and you work toward it and, and you don't stop until that goal is completed question number one in the self-evaluation section uh, here below this video it says do I consider myself to be diligent and number two asks the question um, do my parents consider me diligent some of us we can't go back and ask our parents that question but some of you can um, I'll be honest as a kid my parents didn't consider me to be very diligent uh, they always thought I was terribly lazy uh, love to love to hear what my parents have to say now but in summary in other words basically um, when I commit to a task this is a question we should ask ourselves when, when I commit to a task, do I see it through to completion or is my house filled with a whole bunch of unfinished projects? Well, let's explore this characteristic of diligence all this week. Um, we'll dive in here in just a moment. I'll be right back. My name is Pastor Greg. diligent person gets the job done this is this is kind of the way the world thinks the diligent person gets the job done they don't quit on until they uh, uh, the, the task is completed they give it their all uh, is, and in the Bible this is interesting because I, I know we're sitting here thinking to ourselves how does diligence fit into a Christian characteristic but actually the Bible uses the word diligent quite frequently uh, and it uses it in several different ways and uh, to be diligent is always seen as something positive. It's mentioned a couple times in the book of Proverbs. Uh, in, in Proverbs 10.4, it says that lazy hands make for poverty, but diligent hands bring wealth. If Yeah, if you make sense, right? And if you're lying around in bed all day, um, sitting around playing video games instead of actually doing something productive chances are um, you're not going to be very wealthy I mean it's after so many so many years you can live off your parents wealth right Proverbs 13 4 says that um, a slugger's appetite is never filled but the desires of the diligent are fully satisfied and I will attest to that you know when you start a project and when you get that project to completion there is this sense of satisfaction that you get so the diligent person who works um, will end up um, reaping good results. Uh, those who refuse to work with diligence will suffer the consequences. Um, and, and of course, there is a contrast. As you're reading here through Proverbs, there is a contrast between uh, those who are diligent and those who are lazy. Diligent people plan ahead. Uh, diligent people uh, save. They they uh, look forward to perhaps a time when there is um, a shortfall, and so they plan for that. A diligent person thinks ahead. They plan ahead. Um, they work to provide for their needs instead of living day by day or paycheck to paycheck. They think ahead. They plan ahead. They work ahead. In contrast, according to Proverbs, uh, the lazy or the non-diligent never seem to have enough because 
number one, they never see a job through to completion or uh, they quit or they do shoddy work and ending up reaping the harvest of a lack of diligence. You know, the, the supervisor or the boss says, you know, I, I can't assign you a task because I have no confidence that it will be done correctly or that it will be done at all. Uh, a supervisor enjoys supervising a person whom they don't have to micromanage. So Solomon points out that diligence in life is the mark of a wise person. And um, this lesson on dil diligence, it, it, it might be something, like I said, that we hear at a business meeting, but it also applies to our Christian life. Um, you might go to a, some kind of a seminar on, or a conference on how to be successful in life and, and be lectured about dil diligence. Uh, the diligent person puts wealth into their pockets. And that is, that is true. That's, that's one way of looking at it. But diligence is also something that can be applied to our spiritual life. And that's something I want to talk about tomorrow. But, but just for now, keep in mind that diligence is a virtue. Um, and uh, the diligent person, the person who sees through a project, who works at a task with, uh, with a goal in mind, and sees a project through, through to the end, that will be a favored person in this world. Uh, that is the kind of employee that uh, employers want to see. Somebody who is diligent. Somebody who is not slothful. Somebody who is not lazy. They show up at work on time. They give their best. They give their all. They do the best quality work that they can. And that kind of person, naturally, as Solomon points out, is, uh, is going to be the favored individual and will be rewarded for their work in this life. But the rest of this week, I want to talk about diligence from a spiritual standpoint. So we're going to we're going to tackle that tomorrow as we take a look at diligence and how it applies to our spiritual lives. Thanks for joining me today. My name is Pastor Greg. You've been watching Transforming the World.